a giant structure has just revealed itself in the deepest parts of Antarctica, sparking claims of an ancient civilization once roaming the polar region. The oval-shaped building is 400 feet across, and appears to have all the hallmarks of being a sizable, man-made construction. If true, it would reshape everything scientists thought they knew about humanity's past, as it would prove people inhabited what was previously thought to be a desolate frozen region. Satellite imagery clearly shows the structure, which closely resembles the ruins of a once giant building. It is so symmetrical it has raised questions as to whether nature alone could have designed it. Scientists initially thought the discovery could be a sastrugi, a natural phenomenon formed by years of being battered by strong, freezing winds, and heavy snowfall. But sastrugis always form a distinctive shape based on the direction of the wind, and rarely appear as a distinct oval, such as the mystery formation in the satellite image. Ancient civilizations in Antarctica have long been rumored to have existed, with people pointing to a map drawn in 1513, by Turkish Admiral Piri Reis, as a clear sign of historic life. The map shows Antarctica drawn impeccably well, despite it not officially being discovered until 1818. This dome-like structure is not the first discovery to raise questions about advanced ancient civilizations living in the area. A pyramid also appears to have been discovered poking out of the snow, with its distinctive triangular, symmetrical shape are clearly at odds with its surrounding environment. Leading Archaeologist, Ashoka Tripathi of the Department of Archaeology at the University of Calcutta, believes the images show clear evidence of an ancient human settlement beneath the ice sheet. He said, these are clearly features of some sort of human-made structure, resembling some sort of pyramidal structure. The patterns clearly show nothing we should expect from natural geomorphological formations found in nature. We clearly have here evidence of human engineering. The only problem is that these photographs were taken in Antarctica under two kilometers of ice. That is clearly the puzzling part, we do not have any explanation for this at the moment. These pictures just reflect a small portion of Antarctica's total land mass. There are possibly many other additional sites that are covered over with ice. It just shows us how easy it is to underestimate both the size and scale of past human settlements. <laughs>